ever since the Indian Air Force carried out a surgical strike at Balakot in Pakistan on 26 February 2019. There has been hot discussion amongst the strategic community around the world and particularly in India and Pakistan about the effects and the success achieved by the strike. The primary question also was why was the Mirage 2000 chosen for the strike over the Sukhoi 30 MKI? In this episode of The Wise Owl, we look at the reasons for selecting Mirage 2000 as the platform of choice for the strike. The Mirage 2000 fighter was chosen for the precision strike on 26 February at the jaish e mohammed terrorist camp at Jabba Top near Balakot in Pakistan because this fighter has a wartime operational role of precision, high-value target strikes. For this role, it can carry laser-guided bombs, standoff glide bombs with Israeli SPICE electro-optical come GPS precision guidance kit, and the Crystal Maze Mark II, which is an improved derivative of the Popeye air-to-surface missile. These weapons can travel large distances when launched and have high accuracy. Mirage aircrew regularly train for these weapons. Similar accurate weapons have not been integrated on other IAF platforms yet, even though the process in some cases is on. Mirage has a good airborne intercept radar. It also has capability to carry modern air defense weapons for self-protection. The Mirage 2000 also has an electronic countermeasure suite to jam enemy radars. Mirages can be refueled in the air, albeit many other fleets have aerial refueling capability. This fleet also maintains serviceability and high mission success rates over the years. Mirages were very successfully used earlier with LGB and iron bomb strikes during the Kargil War when they took out individual bunkers and large logistics dumps and turned the tide of the war. Twelve Mirages reportedly got airborne from their home base at Gwalior. The airborne warning and control system aircraft and flight refueling aircraft were in the air to support. The crow fly distance to Balakot was 1035 kilometers. The aircraft would have done tactical routing to avoid Pakistani radar detection and also not raise an alarm. The whole strike was well choreographed. The crew would have had detailed briefing on the target area and specified target impact points. The IAF chose the very early morning graveyard shift time when the enemy radar and weapon systems operators would be at the lowest alert and efficiency with time on target as 0327 hours. Beyond the main strike package and support aircraft, there were many standby aircraft in the air. Finally, only the aircraft with spice bombs engaged the targets. The crystal maze was not used. The most important target housing the terror trainees was hit with three bombs. The remaining two targets were hit with one bomb each. Jabba Top, near Balakot in Khyber Pakhtunwa, is nearly 60 kilometers deep across the line of control. The GPS bombs have precision accuracy of below 3 meters. All the five bombs released would have had direct hits. The same was confirmed by the IAF later at the highest levels. The spice bombs have time delay fuse and thus they can penetrate the target before explosion. The blast would then kill all inside the buildings. Pakistani Inter-Services Intelligence Chief acknowledged such a strike on social media in the early hours of the morning. Despite the Pakistan Air Force being on a high alert, all IAF aircraft returned after the successful strike. India's Foreign Secretary made an official media briefing at 10.30 hours on 26 February. He announced that India had carried out a non-military strike against Jaish-e-Mohammed 
terrorist training and launch camps and not targeted Pakistani military. This non-military preemptive action was specifically targeted at the Jaish e Mohammed camp. The future of airstrikes lies in long-range standoff precision weapons. These weapons are expensive and therefore used selectively against high-value, heavily defended targets. The IAF has been slowly and steadily building its inventory of these weapons. Currently, the Mirage 2000 fleet is cleared with these two Israeli weapons. The Su-30 MKI has the Russian X-59 TV guided cruise missile with a two-stage rocket fuel propulsion system and 200 kilometers range. But these missiles require the special APK-9 data link pod. The target accuracy is also relatively lower. Trials to clear the Su-30 MKI to carry the SPICE 2000 smart bombs are reportedly going on. It entails both hardware and software modifications. The electric and electronic looms require change. Weapon aiming software requires to be changed, among other things. Also, the physical safe weapon separation has to be checked at different points of the flight envelope. The IAF is also looking at acquiring the more advanced version of the SPICE 2000 bombs that can target concrete bunkers.